When they announced my city, my province, I instantly thought about my parents. I know that this was not just my dream, but also their dream to be Miss Universe Philippines. I always have this dream of actually looking at myself in the mirror of wearing that sash and that crown. So when they announced my province, I, I couldn't feel anything, like literally. And I'm really happy to be here. I was becoming emotional more when I saw my parents because when you're here on the stage, I was trying to look for them because there's so much lights. You can hear the crowd, you know, you have your sisters behind you. But when I saw them literally came up here on the stage, that's when I felt most emotional because it's been really four months um, for this uh, coronation night to happen. So for me to embrace them was just really important for me for that moment. When we all go through challenges, we all go through that phase. You know, I I didn't have that standard of beauty when it comes to beauty pageants. You know, I didn't have that color, that hair. Um, but I told myself and my parents have always told me to believe in yourself, you know. There's a story for you to tell and this is me right now to be your next Miss Universe Philippines and hoping to be the next Miss Universe as well. I love you mom, I love you dad. This is not just for me but for you and for all of those people who have supported me. I will do great, we will do good. I know that this is already my, my journey but you know I hope that no matter where I am you know, you'll, you'll still be there to support me. I love you, mom and dad. He's one of those candidates that, you know, I didn't feel like she was, you know, like, like my co-candidate, but she was like a family to me. When we were on that stage, when we were there together, we were just talking about how much we love each other. I am that person who always, always tell, you know, I love you girls because no one else will tell us to that on the backstage but we were telling how much you know we have grown how proud we are with each other and i love abby stacy so much for that i know she'll do amazing and i hope that you know even if i get that crown you get to also um support all of those other girls that got the crown and the other 52 girls well i think it's just really how persevered i was you know my 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 values i stick to my core I always have that voice in my head to just believe in yourself, to be most authentic to yourself because that well you can only perform well. I, I really think that the secret to that is to just really embrace yourself, to know who you are um, because you can really go far when it comes to beauty pageants. I know it's a tough battle, there's a lot of challenges for all of us. It's been four months but when I was performing on that stage I was looking at my younger self you know this is a dream for me and i'm just going to perform my best and also give it to the people who have supported me and for my parents i thought when i was younger i just wanted to join miss universe philippines because i wanted to look at my best you know but when it comes to growing more you become more empowered there is an advocacy there's a purpose to it and because of that, I am more engaged to work with the organization so that I can better perform for the education, for the youth empowerment through education for the indigenous people. Yeah. So I'm really excited for that one. Mm -hmm. po kasi, I'm half American, half uh, Filipina. Mm -hmm. So my mom po yung Filipina. Yung dad ko, my biological dad, he's uh, American. Mm -hmm. And um, I did see him when I was in the States before oh, okay. um, and then after that of course my mom remarried um, they were divorced mm -hmm. and uh, yeah I grew up to my stepdad who provided for me who, mm. who treated me as his own okay um, and yeah my biological dad he passed away a couple of years ago um, and I hope that when I get that chance to also, you know, come back to the States, um, I get to see, you know, the urn that he was uh, into. I don't really think there is such as any underdog in this batch. I mean, mm -hmm. everyone is saying this is a tough battle. Nga. Everyone performed their best. So I think what was my secret there is to just give it my all to, you know, perform well, to stick to my core. Okay, congratulations. Thank you so Thank much, Mr.